three Bs, bacon, biscuits, and butter. So, um, a new Aldi just opened in our town, which we're very excited about. And I have actually only ever been to one Aldi before, and it was kind of a gross experience. And I don't know if it's just because of like the location that it was in, because it wasn't in like the nicest town. This was also a long time. This was probably like 15 years ago. Um, so I don't know if, it, like, I had a kind of a, a clouded vision of Aldi because of that experience. And pretty much all I knew about it was, like, from that. And that's where the Duggars shopped on some of their earlier specials when they bought, would buy, like, a case of, you know, like, canned green beans or something. So, but I know that Aldi actually is, like, actually a pretty good brand. Um, and they're pretty nice. And this is a brand new store that they actually kind of rebuilt in a location that used to be a different discount food store bottom dollar food so um it just opened a week ago so it should still be nice it just stopped raining and it just stopped raining it's been pouring rain mm -hmm. so we're gonna go make a run for it now go inside and check out what they have at aldi what would and wwd hmm? wwd what, what would, would the, the duggers, duggers do, do? And we have... We ignore their oldest son. Well, no. so we have a, a grand opening coupon. We have the flyer. And actually, like, so far I haven't been super jazzed about the stuff in the flyer because the prices are pretty similar to, like, sale prices at the regular supermarket that mm -hmm. we usually go to. Except the only thing is, like, it's their brands of stuff. The one thing I am kind of interested in, they have a high-protein ice cream which sounds like maybe uh, their version sure. of like Halo Top Halo or something. Top, so I would, Halo I would Top. like to look for that because Heck that yeah. sounds special this week. Um, but besides that, yeah, we, we got those and you have your quarter for the shopping cart? Yes, I do. All right, and we brought, got our shopping bags, so let's make a run for it now Before while the rain has stopped. Yep. Yeah, shopping um, cart. Yeah, okay, sure, cool. So when we get up to the carts, you just pop in a quarter in, and then it'll, right it'll pop back out. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm You're good. Do it. Yeah. South Carolina. All right. You don't need to curse. Pick the direction. So, yeah, so you want to just start going through here? Yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh, maybe yeah, we get our strawberries good. here. Okay. I don't know. But, like, but like, look. So, like, these are 2 30 and I feel like they're on sale this week at Giant yeah. for probably like it'll end up being the same price. Mm. There's flatbread, naan, all right, dried fruits and trail mix, pretty much all Aldi brand stuff, snacks and chips, cookies and crackers. Yeah, actually, so here's like the first the first brand name kind of thing we've seen, I think. So uh, on the go section of little snack packs and salads, that's good. Lunchables, kombucha. I think a lot of stuff, if you bought it, if it was on sale at the regular yeah. store. So there's dips and cheeses. You wanna look for any kind of cheeses? Happy Farms. Oh, habanero jack. What? What? Done. <laughs> Here's some good salami and sausage kind of snacks. Let's see what the carb situation is on these salamis. Um, well, one gram of sugar. Yeah. It's okay for a processed salami. Some, oh, some Slim Sims. Nothing Sims? Damn, they're not Slim Jims, they're Sims. And here's more, here's Sims jerky, original jerky. Spicy that's, yeah, garlic. That's about um, average for jerky. Oh, I feel like five meat. grams of carbs. Uh, two, gra uh, seven grams. But wait, fiber, zero. Shit. This is so funny. This is like an exact knockoff of that like yeah. artisan jerky. Man, a ton of stevia stuff here. Lots of super low. What's that? Um, like stevia. So that's basically yeah. Like the yellow would be like the like. Splenda. Splenda version. 
and and green otherwise is kind of just like the color of stevia chia seeds Ooh. oh chia seeds hey okay I well missed, i missed the pudding i promise you i can't i guarantee you, I do you want to get a thing of chia seeds i love, I, I, love I, I would like to do the math on this because like there's chia seeds at costco and i'd like to see how it compares pound for pound yeah. but that's interesting that they that even that have them food. here there's also flax seeds yeah yeah. And there's almond flour down almond here too, that's good. Again, I would want to do the math, see how it compares pound mm. for pound, but it's good to see that it's here. So here's here's uh, jello and pudding, oh, speaking we of, we were just Where's talking pistachio? about that. I don't see pistachio, I see strawberry, orange, so you could take this chocolate, and, and vanilla. Sugar-free, oh, oh look, these are sugar-free ones. You have to add sugar. No, these are sugar-free yeah. versions. This version has sugar. Okay. Walnuts, yeah, here's a bunch yeah, of walnuts. Yeah, walnuts are pretty stuff. good prices. Yeah, it's me. Compared to Trader Joe's, it's kind of diced. Well, diced walnuts. I, I miss know. walnuts. Damn, I really miss walnuts. You can get some walnuts if you want. Okay, so a couple options of olive oil. There's specially selected, Ooh. or organic, or oh, Carlini. I know. There's a fun, know. <laughs> there's funnel oh, cake wow. pictures. <laughs> yeah, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, ghee. Saudi That's pretty where, good. How do you know where it's located? Yeah. And um, spices. Children. <laughs> Screaming children. children. So, yeah, so these say that they're protein bars, but let's see. Uh, that's, oh, a, that's a no for me, dog. That's a, that's, oh, man. <laughs> it's a shame because they look like really good. 21 grams. They what's look your, like good flavors. Um, look at this. Like peppermint bark. Five grams five. of carbs, maybe. These are more in the 20s. Yeah. Oh, man. There's also elevation protein powder. Yeah. I mean, if um, you're really just after protein and not so much caring about carbs, I yeah. guess it's a good oh, option. Oh, sure. Great. So, one of the things about Aldi is that there's also like other stuff. So, this yeah. is all the like camping and outdoor summer equipment. What's this? A tent? Oh, a sleeping bag. Like sleeping bag. A sleeping bag and a cot. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, doormats. Doormats. A record player with Bluetooth. What? A fifty dollar Bluetooth record player. The game of Simon. Pop it. Oh shoot! I got started. Uh oh! Now you got to finish it. I remember this pattern. <laughs> yeah. So candy department. More, mm more. -hmm. Too bad knoppers sound pretty good. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, baby department. So here is some soap and I stuff. To, um, I need to assign a voice. We've got a gluten-free department. Okay, so so here's the meat, salmon. Tilapia. Yeah. Is there wow. anything good? I don't know. I just don't see that the prices are like that amazing. It's another place to shop. <laughs> and here's, let's go look at the chicken. If you like air conditioning. If you like air conditioning, you might like shopping at Aldi. Uh, there's not a ton of um, selection, first of all. I would say the prices are about similar to what we pay at the other supermarket. Three B's, bacon, biscuits, and butter. So the yogurt section actually is pretty interesting because they have a bunch of Greek yogurt and they have this Icelandic Skyr that's so popular right now. And moo tubes. Yes, they have LaCroix, but not the skinny fancy cans that I prefer. Yeah, but these are the ones that just taste like burps. I like the skinny cans. What? Yeah, I like the kind that comes in the. <laughs> I like the kind of Lacroix that comes in the skinny can because the regular ones I think just taste like a burp. I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, hold up! Skinny cans. Yes, those. That one. These. Yes, those are the ones I like. What about these? Making them stronger. Yeah, that's not what that's for. Right, no, aloe water is a lot of carbs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's you just get your little squirts. Squirts. <laughs> uh, fruit punch, grapes, only watermelon, orange. I'll get all one of each. One of everything. Try them all. Why not?
Cold so brew. yeah, so this is what my brother said he gets at Aldi. Oh. Cafe Bastello coffee. Yeah, cold brew. Cold brew, okay, cold brew. Single origin Colombia. Yeah, we got bone broth. Other kinds of broths and stocks. Top ramen. <laughs> Okay, so this aisle must be all the special deals. It okay, says here today, okay. gone tomorrow. And it has like here we go. combos and Ritz crackers. Citrine Road. Uh, we're actually here because I heard there was a rolling cart for like $12. That sounded pretty good. Yes, literally the last corner. I love this family-sized ice cream bucket. Well, we don't that. need that bucket, but let's... Four dollars, man. You no, let's check out that. this fruit. So they only have chocolate and vanilla flavors. Look at the Ben & Jerry logo. It's really amazing. The graphic designer of this company is just Where amazing. you see Ben & Jerry? Down here, look. Oh! Cherry Munch. Cherry oh. Munch. Oh, okay. Make fun. All right, so this... Not war. This, um... This sure. is the high-protein ice sure. cream? Yes, sir. All right, this is the high-protein ice cream. They only have chocolate and vanilla. Carbs, um, so it still comes out per container. Ooh. Ain't no Halo Top. No, it's not the Halo Top. Well, it's protein. basically, they're just calling it here light ice cream. It's light, but it's not. Uh, it's talking fat. about, yeah, it says half the fat and fewer carb, calories. Carb, yeah. It's not really talking yeah. about carbs at all. They had these uh, Kodiak cakes. They're like protein pancakes. Yeah, or cakes. What? They're like high protein pancakes. Really? Yeah, they're still pretty high in carbs too though. Like real high. Real like high. 25 grams high. So they do have shopping bags, but you do have to pay for them. Yeah, we always bring them in. Not a hardship for us. Ready? Yay! Went from South Carolina to Maryland. Oh. So what were your thoughts about Aldi? I don't know. Um, you started talking. If, uh, I think if even there was a 15 to 25 cent price difference compared to other regular mainstream supermarkets, it'd be like, wow, this is great. But really, everything seemed pretty similar. Yeah, I didn't really see a I don't, big enough price difference from yeah. the regular store, especially like sales at the regular store, because yeah. I usually shop based on what's on sale too. Like, so yeah. like, I'm not usually paying full price for a lot of stuff anyway, unless I really need like a specific thing, a specific week. Like this, I guess for me, like the store's appearance makes it look like it's a yeah, warehouse. Yeah, you think you're gonna get a lot better of, deals than yeah, they really are. Yeah, it's the same prices. Yeah, and even like, there was one aisle of like the name brand stuff, like get it while it's here. Like, I don't, I didn't even see that as being like that amazing of a deal or like, mind-blowing products like how did they get that here yeah, yeah. so I don't know we'll try the Aldi brands of a couple things we got like I got the Aldi version of the uh, LaCroix little skinny cans so we'll try a couple of those things we got some cheese we got some of their heavy whipping cream the heavy whipping cream actually was pretty good price because I always get ours at Costco and um, it was basically equivalent to what you would pay at Costco but just this you know the pint size instead of the mm -hmm or whatever. Yeah, you make it look like a like a cash and carry. Yeah, I did not like the way they handled the shopping cart. Just with that, if you're gonna put on that, if them. you're gonna put on that appearance, at least have a something, at least one item that's priced. Yeah, I really didn't even see anything that was produce. Like the loss seen... leader that would like. Yeah. Amaze, you know, blow everyone's minds, bring people into. Like, the oh store. my god, their yeah. blueberries are. A dollar a pint? Um, what? I was you know. a little disappointed. I probably would not go to Aldi, you know, for my regular weekly shopping. Yeah. Um, but I probably would go, like, if I'll flip through their flyer every week, and if they really do have something that looks like an amazing yeah, deal, I'm sure. I would stop in. But I don't think I would go there for my regular shopping week to week. Maybe something comes up once in a while they get a shipment of a whole bunch of whatever yeah, who but, knows what they might get but, but it was a little disappointing also because it was like a brand new store and you think like they would pull out all the best deals to like bring people into the new location and they really didn't have anything amazing so the rent's too damn high <laughs> also now we know we've been to all the i think my opinion still kind of stands mm -hmm. <laughs>
I'm right here. You're in it too. 